Okay, let's get right into it. Uh, we are making the Blooming Spiral uh, Poncho. Motifs Poncho. You're gonna need to make eight of these right here. This is that beautiful blooming sort of spiral that you see. I have made about six of them now. I'm gonna make my seventh one with you. I could not find the yarn that I used originally in this, uh, with this pattern, mm, probably about a year ago. I made two of them. So what I found as a substitute is this right here. You can find this on Walmart. I'm Walmart, forgive me, Amazon. And I'm gonna leave a link, and it is called Elise Diva Silky Effect. It is sort of like their version of a mercerized bamboo cotton. Let's see, what is it actually made of? Um, it says here, microfiber acrylic. But it feels a lot like mercerized bamboo cotton. If you've ever worked with bamboo cotton before, it's very silky, has a beautiful sheen on it. Let's see if I can get just a bit of light so you can see the sheen. There you go. And um, it is it, another difference between this and the yarn I used, which is discontinued. I can't find that yarn, it does not exist anywhere. This is just a tiny, tiny bit thinner than the yarn I originally used. So I've come up with a solution for that. If you were to use this yarn and the hook I'm gonna recommend as is, it should fit a small, medium, large. If you need it to be just a little bit bigger for maybe an extra large, just go up one hook size. That's all you have to do. Nothing else changes. Um, oh, and I suppose you need amounts of yarn. So for the small, medium, large, you're going to need, uh, let's see here, five balls of yarn. And then for the extra large, you will need six. And the hook I am using for the small, medium, large is a F 3.75 millimeter. And if you need to make an extra large, just bump that up to a size four. That's literally all you have to do. Just that little bit makes a difference. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my row counter. So we are on row, or round, I should say, round number one. And this is what I have used of one full ball um, or skein to make the six that I have. I'm absolutely gonna be able to make all eight with this and then some. So I'm a bit tangled up because per usual, I'm always super prepared whenever I'm filming. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're gonna wanna chain eight and because this is a silky mercerized like acrylic, um, or it has that mercerized effect where it's real slippery and silky, I would recommend leaving a very long tail to weave in because this kind of yarn I have made, I made a top with this yarn and made two of them where I put fringe all down the arms and the sides. And I wound up having to double knot my fringe because with just the regular, you know, pull through with the fringe, it just started to do this. It started to just unravel all by itself. It's just so silky. So I would say leave a really long tail like, like that, like the length of your hook or longer. So I'm going to leave a tail about this long, pretty long, I that looks like about six inches. That way you have a lot of weave-in tail so that you can really anchor and secure it. <clears throat> okay. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, and eight. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first chain to join and create a ring. And then you're gonna chain one and do a single crochet. 
Now you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're about to start our repeat. You're going to single crochet into the ring and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And single crochet into the ring. Do this until you have a total of four loops and the ring in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in the chain or in the ring. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still getting over COVID, so my voice is a little ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is our last one. And instead of uh, single crocheting into the ring, we're going to single crochet into our first, I'm sorry, no, no, no. We're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. Okay, and now we are on round two. You are going to slip stitch into the first two chains of this chain six here. You're gonna slip stitch into this one and slip stitch into this one. That way we can get more into the, more into the center of it. Okay, now you're going to chain one and make three single crochet. One, two, three single crochet right into that first ring. Now you chain six. In this, in this motif, you're going to see a lot of single crochet and chain six. <laughs> it's going to be a repeat. Okay, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we start our repeat. Three crochet, uh, three single crochet into the loop. One, two, and three. Chain six. One two, three, four, five, six, three single crochet <clears throat> into this loop. One, two, three, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And last time we're going to do put three single crochet into the loop. One, two, and three. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you will <clears throat> slip stitch into your starting single crochet of your three single crochet on your very first loop right there. Okay. Now we are on round three. And just so that you know, there are a total of 11 rounds for these motifs, but they go by really fast. If you look at the motifs themselves, it's all single crochet and chains. Just a series of single crochet and chains. So it goes really fast, even though there are a lot of them. The most time consuming round is the last round. And I'll show you. On the last round, you're gonna create a border. So, you know, it's a lot of uh, half double crochets and then double crochets in the corner all the way around. And so this is the most time consuming round is the last round. These are really quick to make. Okay, round three. And you're going to slip stitch again into the next single crochet over. So now you are in the middle crochet, single crochet. Chain one and work a single crochet in that same stitch you slip stitched into. And then work a single crochet in the next single crochet over. And then work four single crochet into the chain. One, two, three, and four. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six some more yarn. Now we skip the first. See, this is what we have so far, what we just worked. You will 
skip the first single crochet of the next group of three single crochets over, skip the first one, and work a single crochet into the second one, the middle one. Work a single crochet into that last single crochet, and work four single crochet into your chain six space. One, two, three, four, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to train myself to stay in the center. Okay, again, we're gonna skip our first single crochet and start working our single crochets in the second one over, the middle one. One single crochet, and then in the very next one over, another single crochet, and then four single crochet in the chain six space. One, two, three, and four, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, we repeat. Skip the first single crochet, make a single crochet in the next one over, and a single crochet in the last one, and four in the chain six space. One, two, three, and four. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here we are at the end of this round. You're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet right there. And to make it easy to know which one is the first one because this little squiggly guy can be kind of confusing, you just count one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six of them, so the first of the six. Slip stitch. And there is that. Now we are going to start round four. And with round four, we are going to slip stitch again into the next single crochet over. Oops, slipped out of there. Slipped out of the slip stitch. Okay, chain one and single crochet in the same stitch you just worked a slip stitch into. That counts as your first single crochet. And, let's see, okay. And then you're gonna uh, work a single crochet in the next one, two, three, four, single crochet. So one, oops, two, three, and four. That's gonna give you a total of five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, we're gonna work four single crochet in the chain six space. One, two, three, and four. Now we have a total of nine single crochet on this side. We chain six. I'm telling you by the end of this motif, you're gonna get sick of me hearing me say chain six and single crochet. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna skip our first single crochet again and work the next five single crochet work a single crochet in the next five single crochet. These are all gonna be single crochet. The only time we're not working a single crochet is in the last round whenever we do half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five, and then four single crochet in the chain six space. One, two, three, and four, and repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six chains. Skip your first single crochet, work five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then work four in the chain six space. One, 
two, three, and four, and you're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're gonna repeat that all the way around. You don't have much further to go if you're working right at my pace. <clears throat> when you get to the end, you're gonna put your four single crochet in your chain six space, and you're gonna chain six and slip stitch into your very first single crochet right there okay okay <clears throat> now we're at the end of round four I thought I would just go ahead and finish it with you I have worked all of my single crochet my chain six and now I am going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the next round or starting the next round there we go now we are on round five with round five you're gonna slip stitch into the next again slip stitch into the next single crochet over chain one single crochet in that very same stitch that you slip stitched into that is your first single crochet and make your first single crochet I should say Okay, and then you're going to single crochet in every available single crochet you see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That means we should have a total of eight since I wasn't counting the first one. So let's go ahead and count. One, two, three. Sorry, I looked at my screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? And then, oh, I gotta get more yarn. We're gonna work four single crochet in the chain six space again. And this is the repeat. One, two, three, and four, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip your first single crochet again. And work a single crochet in the next one over. That's your first of eight. Work seven more double crochet for a total of eight. Work four single crochet in your chain six space. Chain six and do it all over again where you skip your first single crochet and do it all over again. And you're going to end this round as we have done before where you're going to skip your first single crochet, work your eight, work four single crochet in the chain six space, chain six and slip stitch into your very first single crochet. I will meet you when we are done with round five. Oh, right, now we're at the end of round five. I thought I would just, again, finish it with you. You can see what I have done here. Skipped my first single crochet, worked my eight, worked my four in the chain six space, made another chain six, and now I'm about to slip stitch into my starting single crochet, right here. There we go. Slip stitch. Okay, now we are on round six. And with round six, we're gonna change it up just a little bit. We are going to slip stitch into the next two single crochets. So one, two, in addition to the very first one you slip stitched into. Now you single, or make a chain one, sorry, let me do that again because I feel like I was off camera. We are in our first slip stitch where we finished the round. And now in the next one, two, double or single crochet over, we're going to additionally slip stitch. One. And two. Now we chain one and single crochet into the exact same stitch we just made our last slip stitch into. And now we will single crochet in every remaining single crochet. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. For a total of 10, because we never count the first one as we're going. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now again, we are gonna put four single crochet in the chain six space. Two, three, and four. <clears throat> that leaves us with a total of 14 single crochet. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the repeat. You skip your first two single crochet, and in the third one, you work your 10 single crochet. Then you work your four single crochet in the chain six space. And when you get to the end, once again, just like we've done before, you're gonna have your four single crochet in the chain six space, chain six, slip stitch into your starting single crochet. I'll meet you when we get there. And so just to recap with this round, how it should be looking is that instead of skipping the first chain, I'm sorry, the first single crochet, you will be skipping the first two single crochet on this round. And then making your 10, and then making your four in the chain six space for a total of 14. So remember that is very important. Skip your first two single crochet. Should look like that. All right, now we are at the end. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. We are at the end of round six. I have my chain six and I'm gonna slip stitch into my first single crochet. There we go. That is what we have so far. Now we are on round seven. Okay, in this one, we're going back to slip stitching only one single crochet over. Chain one, work a single crochet in that same stitch. Now we will be working a total of 13 a single crochet across. So we just did one. Oops, oh, I just bumped my camera. We just did our first one. Now we need to put 12 more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve for a total of thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, wait, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, thought I made a mistake there for a second. Okay, and now instead of putting four single crochet in the chain six space, we're just gonna put two. I'm just looking at my notes. Yeah. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip your first single crochet and then the next single crochet over. Work 13. Get a little tension there. Work 13 single crochet across. So that's hard to see at this angle. Sorry, it's so awkward trying to crochet whenever there's a camera. 
right here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 11, 12, and 13. And then we put two more in the chain six space. One, two. That gives us a total of 15 single crochet across, by the way. This is the repeat. So you will chain six, skip your very first single crochet, work 13, single crochet across, put two in the chain six space, and chain six and do it all over again. And just like before, you're gonna chain six after your two single crochet in the last chain six space, and slip stitch into your very first single crochet. And I will meet you when you get to that point right there. All right, here we are at the end of round seven. I'll finish this with you. We're just gonna slip stitch into our very first single crochet of the round. Here we go. Let's get this mess out of the way so you can see clearly. This is what mm -hmm. this is what our work should be looking like, roughly. And it's gonna be all crunchy and all like that. It really smooths itself out uh, once the project is done and you're wearing it and the weight of the project is pulling on it. it it's a beautiful, well, you've seen pictures. So there you go. That's what we're working with now. Okay. And now we are on round eight. All right, let's get set up here. <clears throat> there we go. With round eight, you're gonna slip stitch into the next two, like we've done before, the next two. One, two, single crochet. One, and two. Chain one and work a single crochet in that very same single crochet that you slip stitched into. Okay. And now you're going to single crochet into the next 10 single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This means you have a total, because we didn't count the first, we have a total of eleven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. How your work should look on this is the last two single crochet are unworked and your first two single crochet are unworked so it should look like this your last two unworked your first two unworked 11 single crochet across okay now you will chain six one two two three four five six and you're gonna single crochet right in the middle of your chain six space, just like that. Now you're gonna chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna skip your first two single crochet. And in the third one over, start making your 11 single crochet across, leaving the last two unworked. One, Two, three, 
four. I gotta get my angle right here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And if you've done it right, you should have two unworked on the end. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet into the chain six space. Just like that, right in the middle of the chain. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip your first two single crochet. And in the third one over, start your 11 single crochet across. This is the repeat. So meet me at the end. When you have worked your last 11 single crochet, chain six, put a single crochet in the chain six space, then chain six again. <clears throat> and you're gonna slip stitch into your very first single crochet meet me when you get to this point. All right, here we are at the end of round eight. I've made my last chain six after my single crochet in the chain six space. And I'm gonna slip stitch into my very first starting single crochet. Now if I can get it in there. There we go. Work a slip stitch. Okay, there we go. Now we are <clears throat> starting round nine. Almost done. Okay, let me just look at my notes. Okay, right. With round nine, <clears throat> if I can keep my notes standing up so I can see them. <laughs> Uh, you're going to slip stitch into the next two single crochet. So now you can see that we are at this point we're going to start making our spiral fins go in, tapering them in. Okay, and then, oh, I have to do one more. What a mess I am. I'm trying to read and do this at the same time chain one and work a single crochet. Did I work a single crochet? What a mess. And I'm supposed to be giving a tutorial here? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Slip stitch, chain one, then single crochet. Go with it, Karina. Okay. Ah, here we go, yes. This round, we're gonna be working a total of seven. I got lost reading all my notes. I forgot where I, I lost my, my line. <laughs> this one, we're gonna be working a total of seven single crochet across. So we did our first one already. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And just like the last row, you will notice that our last two single crochet are left totally unworked. Right there. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you are going to put a single crochet into this first chain six space. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Work another single crochet into that chain six space. Just like that. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna skip your first two single crochet and in the third one, work your seven single crochet across. Can get in there we go I can normally just blast right through these but at this angle with my camera right here 
It is very awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there should be two unworked on the end. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in your first chain six space right here, you see you have two of them. You're gonna work a single crochet. Chain six. Two, three, four, five, six. Work a single crochet in your second one, your second chain six space. And then work another chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip your first two single crochet. And in the third one, start your seven single crochet across. This is the repeat. Meet me at the end. When you are ready to slip stitch into your first single crochet there. And we will start round 10. All right, now we are at the end of round nine. I have my chain six. I'm about to slip stitch into my starting single crochet right here. Okay, slip stitch. Now we are on round 10. We are really, really almost done. Again, the last one is the most time consuming. This one here is actually one of the quickest rounds. Okay, we are going to slip stitch again into the next two single crochet. One and two. Chain one, work a single crochet in that same stitch of your slip stitch and work another single crochet over and work your last single crochet over. Total of three. This is how it should look. Your last two stitches unworked, your first two stitches unworked. So you only have three in the middle. Okay? Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in your first chain six space, work a single crochet. Chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are gonna make our corner, <coughs> or the start of our corner. And in our middle, see we have three, one, sorry, one, two, three chain six spaces from the previous round here that would be easier for me to show you on a corner I haven't worked yet. We have one, two, and three. You have three chain six spaces. In the first one, we just worked our single crochet. Now in this middle one, you're gonna work a double crochet chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And in that same chain six space, work another double crochet. This is gonna be your corner. This is how we, you know, create the square. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And in your last chain six space, work a single crochet and chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip your first two single crochet and work three single crochet in the next three single crochet over. So here we go. One, two, and three. And your last two remain unworked. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Work a single crochet in your first chain six space. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and work a double crochet, chain six, double crochet in this middle space. So we have double crochet, chain six, and double crochet. Ah, got tangled up with myself. Chain six after that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And work a single crochet in your last chain six space. Just like so. And then chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see how this is the fastest round besides our, our earlier rounds here. Skip your first two single crochet and work the next three over. One, two, and three. There we go. Go ahead and finish this repeat all the way around of your three single crochet, chain six, work a single crochet, chain six, work a double crochet, chain six, double crochet, all in that middle chain six space. Then you chain six, work a single crochet, chain six, and work your three single crochet. <coughs> Excuse me. Meet me when you're ready to slip stitch at the end of the round. Okay, here we are at the end of round 10. Yay, only one round left to go. I told you these are really fast. You're gonna wanna slip stitch after you make your chain six. You're gonna wanna slip stitch into your very first single crochet. Then you're gonna wanna slip stitch in the next single crochet over. Chain one, make a single crochet, and that's it on that. You're going to leave your last one unworked. Now, this is where it's a little less complicated, but a lot more time consuming. From here, you're going to start working half double crochets. In your first two chain six spaces, you're going to work seven and seven half double crochet, okay? Right in there for a total of 14 of them. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and we're gonna skip right over the top of that single crochet like it don't exist. And we just immediately go into the next chain six space and work seven more, half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, in the area where we made our two double crochet, right here. You're gonna work three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. That's gonna be our corner. So, three double crochet, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and work three more double crochet, one, two, and three. You could call the corners three, three, and three, because you've got three double crochet, three chains, and three double crochet. See? Now we immediately go into our chain six space and start working seven half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and again, we skip that single crochet, it don't exist anymore. And we make seven more half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip your first single crochet, work a single crochet in the middle.
and immediately start working your seven half double crochet again. You're gonna skip your last single crochet. And this is the repeat all the way around. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We ignore that single crochet and keep going. One, two, three, oh, I got tangled up. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And we immediately start working our three, three, and three. Three double crochet, one, in this chain six space, of course, let me be specific. Two, three, three chain, one, two, three, and three more double crochet. One, two, and three, and we immediately start working our seven and seven half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We ignore her, we don't know her, we don't care for her, we don't like her. Just kidding. <laughs> Skip over that single crochet and work seven more half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and in, we skip the first single crochet here, work a single crochet in the middle, and skip the last single crochet. Skip, work a single crochet in the middle, and skip. Okay, repeat this all the way around, and you can see how it's looking now. You can see your corner here. That's with the three, three, and three. The three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. You have your seven, 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 seven. Your single crochet in the middle of these group of three here. And that's the way it's going to look all the way around. But you can really see it starting to get its shape. There you go. That's what squares it out. Okay, meet me when you are, whoops, here at the end and I will show you how we close it up, tie it off, and then you start making motif number two. Do that till you have eight of them. Be back. Okay, here we are at the end of round 11. I have just worked my last seven half double crochet and now I am going to work a slip stitch. My notes just fell. Okay, I'm now gonna work a slip stitch into our starting single crochet right here on top, right there, where you see it all meets. Okay? And just like when we started, I'm going to give myself a generous tail to weave in. Oh, let me get my scissors. There we go. I'm gonna give myself a very generous tail to weave in because I have experience with this yarn and it is slippery, silky, slinky, and doesn't like to stay tied shut very well. Let me show you. See the knot? Look at that, it's already trying to come undone that quick. And it can, it can. So, I like to give myself an extra long tail and I will probably just weave it back and forth, back and forth like this on the back so that it kind of crosses over itself and ties into itself a little bit. But I'll worry about that whenever I'm done making all eight motifs. When you're done making all eight, come back here and we will work together on how to position them and uh, attach them to, join them together. Okay, after that we will do the neck collar area. Then we will start on the body and then we will do the hem that is how this that is the stages of this pattern so there you go 
Um, happy crocheting. Get all eight done and let's get back together and keep working on it. <laughs>